Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Friday afternoon to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord. Everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome today isn't that great isn't that mighty isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he said in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no break shall come thy thy dwelling welcome this afternoon let's give a big hand God bless you today. sincerely from our heart I release that very special blessing upon your life and I pray that God will bless you physically spiritually socially materially financially educationally every area in your life and whatever you do dear friends with your two hands it shall surely prosper let me break it down today I pray that God will bless your child God will bless your children God will bless your finances, bless your business. Whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper. He will bless you on the job. Give you favor and promotion on the job. In Jesus' name, let's give him a hand for the blessing today. In that mighty name of Jesus, he is awesome. He is great and he is mighty. Today, I cover everyone under the blood of Jesus. And I build a hedge around your life. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and so powerful the blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness today every spirit of witchcraft phobia demonic forces evil blights generational curses whether first second third or fourth generational curse i break i reverse i destroy under the precious blood every curse that was pronounced upon your life i destroy in the mighty name of jesus for whom <coughs> the sun set free is free indeed you are free today in jesus name hallelujah every chain is broken every barrier is broken every feather is broken in jesus mighty and precious and gracious and wonderful let's give a big man hallelujah that too has been broken today he's saying his words healing is the children's bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with the stripes and heal you are healed you are healed we are healed in jesus name amen hallelujah yeah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, for this, for this afternoon, I pray. And you dip this mortal man of clay in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Born out every sickness, born out every pain, born out every disease, born out every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness. As I minister your words today, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Darkness in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Hallelujah. Praise God today. Let's look at what's happening today. What is happening after the eclipse? The eclipse was a few days ago on the, on the 8th of April. And many will want to know what will happen after the eclipse. Yes, beloved and friends, in the calm that follows the spectacle of the recent eclipse. Yes, beloved and friends, today we need to understand that there is a story in the air and air a question on many lips today. Praise God, asking what comes. What comes after the solar eclipse has come and gone? Yes, 
casting the brief shadow over our lands. Yes, in this week over the world, we still feel the, the, the ponder, not only the significant, but that should be what should we expect to happen afterwards. It is being talked across the nations and the globe. Yes, beloved and friends, this astronomical event has made many stop and look up in awe, in awe today, beloved, as we turn our hearts, as we turn our hearts to the scriptures, if you have a Bible, seek out the wisdom it holds to discern the seven keys, gate seven key development we might anticipate in the time following the eclipse. Beloved and friends, it is important that we understand these things today. Praise God, number one, I said in my post a few days ago that after the eclipse, yes, God has given America a warning to repent and turn back to God within 40 days. He says within 40 days, you must turn back and repent to God and God will save America. That's the 17th of May, yes, and if you do repent and turn back to God on the 18th of May, will God covering will once again be on the nations of America. And if you refuse, you will feel the blunt and the wrath of God. What God is telling me that most likely America will lose its superpower if they fail to repent and turn back to Almighty God. Beloved and friends, these are powerful words from the prophet this Friday morning. Today, I want you to understand what God is saying, what God is telling us that we must, we must heed the warning from the Lord. He says, repent, repent and turn back to God. Like in the day of Jonah the prophet, when God sent Jonah the prophet to Nineveh to accept, to tell the people to repent. Known as Jonah says, no, Lord, I'm not going there. Jonah refused to go and Jonah refused what God was telling him to do. He says, Lord, they're too wicked. Let them perish. And Jonah refused to go, but God allowed Jonah to be thrown into the sea. And the whale swallowed him for three days and three nights and vomiting, vomiting out on the shore of Nineveh. We went and he told the king and the king repented. The king and the people and even the animals covered with sackcloth and they repented. And God saved Nineveh, Nineveh because God told Jonah with in 40 days he will destroy Joe God Nineveh and God spared Nineveh because they repented. And the question today, my friends, will God save America? Will God save America from the wrath that is to come? Will God save America from the wrath that is to come? The prophet has a, a strong warning for the nations of America today to repent and turn back from God and that nation will be saved. Yes, my friends, that's a short word today I have for America. Praise God today. I know many are sick. I'm going to continue with the message, but I want to pray for the sick today. Praise God. I know many are sick unto death, many are sick in the hospitals, in the bed, many are sick in their homes, many are sick with all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. But today, this Friday morning, the man of God is back here to pray for you, yes, to pray for you today. And I pray today, today, that God will touch God will touch and heal every one of you. God will touch you and heal you and set you free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities. The healing presence of God is in this room today. Praise God. I feel his awesome presence and Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. He said in his words he is not willing that any should perish but all should come to repentance. He is the healing healer of our soul and also he is a healer of our body and today if you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, kidney problem, prostate cancer, what the case may be today, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, 
today God will touch you and heal you today from that sickness and pain and disease and infirmities and evil yes if you're suffering with that with migraine headache God will touch you today if your blood is messed up and you have diabetes so you're just skin and bone you're about to die because that sugar has eaten up your inside God is touching your blood right now am I speaking to someone God is in you right now in the name of Jesus those of you who are suffering with arthritis pain in the name of Jesus yes that pain is leaving you your fingers your knees your toes your elbows God the Holy Spirit is born out that pain from your body right now in the name of Jesus those who are demon possessed today God is God is set you free from those harassing demons in the name of Jesus yes be free be free I command those harassing demons to go right now in the name of Jesus yes I command those harassing demons to leave your body and go right now in the name of Jesus yes be healed right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus yes beloved and friends the question on many lips today as I say is asking what comes after after the solar eclipse has come and gone yes what comes after casting its brief shadow over every lands every lands and in, in its weak its big up still left a ponder not only its significance but what should we expect to happen beloved and friends afterwards it has been the talk across the nations and all across the globe today this astro Economical event uh, that made many stop and look up, uh, look up in a way, in a war, in our, in our to, to today as we turn our hearts uh, to the scriptures today. Yes, beloved, let us seek the wisdom uh, it holds to discern the seven keys, uh, the seven key developments we might anticipate uh, in the time following the eclipses. Uh, yes, passage uh, today, my friends, the uh, passage today we need to look into uh, will store our hearts and minds will store our hearts and minds and body and soul and spirit today yes my friends it will store us it will store us today as we pray today it will store our hearts let me turn to the scriptures today hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus praise the Lord hallelujah oh blessed be the name of Jesus hallelujah praise God as you in the meantime you're looking for the scripture yes let me continue to pray for you hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus beloved and friends today and you will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus that person with a swinge liver God is touching you right now the person with the hole in their heart this morning God this afternoon God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus that person with a cancer the cancer in the inside of you that cancer is burning that that cancer is destroying you inside and if you feel the heat right now it's the work of the Holy Spirit God the Holy Spirit is burning out that cancer he's burning out that sickness he's burning out that disease the person with the shot down kidney you're too old to take a transplant God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God is healing you from that sickness God is healing that man with a growth in his stomach area yes God is healing people from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus name praise God this morning as I set forth the anointing wherever you are in your living room in your dining room in your kitchen in your car in your office on the street with your phone is if you're listening to me from the USA the UK Canada, the Caribbean, or any part of this world. Yes, God gonna touch you and heal you and set you free in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I know God said in his words, We as preachers must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. But right now, I know God is not limited to that. 
God is no respect of persons. There is no distance. There is no barrier where, where healing is concerned today. And right now in the name of Jesus, through the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I send for the anointing right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Who the Son set free is free indeed in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. In a few minutes, I will continue in the second session with the word of God. But I will close for now in Jesus' name. God bless you.